Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm coming to you a little bit late, uh, but with your weekly Oracle card guidance. And I hope that this will, this message here will take you through the next week. Um, we are working with the Madame uh, Endora cards and we have three options. I know the lighting is a little bit stark. Um, it's uh, largely because um, I, it's got, I'm, I'm shooting it quite late and I don't have any daylight and I don't have the proper lights for this setup, unfortunately. So um, yeah, pardon the harsh lights. I'll try to to work with that along the way uh, so that it's not too unpleasant. <laughs> OK, um, yeah, we have three options. We have option one, option two and option three. I've, this is a, um, a clear quartz, but I've forgotten what type of stone this is. I need to actually uh, research it, but I'm I'm not really sure what it is. It's not a, a clear quartz, and this is also uh, it has some element in it, but I'm not sure what it is to be honest. I've forgotten that. But uh, please pick one which you feel drawn to, and we can go directly into the reading. So for those of you who have chosen the first option here, we're asking, what is the weekly oracle card guidance? What is the weekly oracle card guidance? So for those of you who have chosen the option number one, we have the card, the sun, and the caption reads, your perseverance is rewarded. And I think that's a lovely um, confirmation if, if you've been looking for one. And I think it can be a wonderful affirmation as well. I think what this card is referring to is the power that you have beneath your wings. And it's the power that you have now as you go ahead. And it feels like it's quite a strong time for you. It's a, quite, a, um, quite a powerful time for you in order to be creative, in order to be productive, in order to force, to take things, whatever it is that you choose with a force and to be able to move it forward. It's like you're driving something forward. And now is the time that you can actually do that. So if you have a project that you're busy working on, or if you are trying to do some kind of paper that needs to be handed in or work on some kind of proposal or something like this, I think that this time, this month, actually, not just this week, um, but this time is going to be a really, really excellent time for you to work on that and to be able to push things through. I feel here that this card also comes up for people who have been a bit stuck in some ways and haven't able, been able to move things. Well, this is a chance for you to be able to move things that have been stuck until now. It suddenly comes loose. It's suddenly able to move. And it feels like it moves like a hot knife through butter. And so I think that you're going to find things get a lot easier for you in this week or in the time to come in this next couple of weeks, I would say. And I think that here you have a force that is driving you, a power that is driving you, and you can actually do anything that you want with this energy. It's really up to you to decide how you use it and in which ways you will be using it, how you choose to expend it. Regardless if your goals are all over the place, scattered, or whether you have one clear focus, you will be able to make an impact, okay? And I feel that here there's just so much of power, so much of electricity all around you, magnetic force that's working. And you really are going to feel more drawn to some things right now than you have been until now and you're going to be able to bring things to fruition bring things to completion and move things ahead now if you're wondering how this applies to you in terms of a relationship i think that it's a great time to be able to rejoice on on the beautiful things um in your relationship and to actually celebrate gratitude and to celebrate all the wonders that you have, as simple as they may be, or as complex as they have they have been or could be. As the caption of the card says, your perseverance is rewarded. I think that now is the time to really make a decision and go with what it is that you want to do. I think that it won't necessarily be as easy 
as we come towards the end of the month. But here, this card is talking about how things can really glide, really go much easier than they have been for a while during this week. So I feel like it's a time where you can make a lot of progress. And it doesn't look like you'll be making a lot of progress because you putting your head down and just concentrating on this one thing. It feels like you'll be making a lot of progress because you're creating balance. So you might decide during this week that you choose to go out as much as you stay in. You choose to work as hard as you choose to play. Um, you choose to rest as much as you are active. And so I think that this um, kind of duality um, but but balance is what's going to help you to move along in this week. And I think that that's going to be quite useful for you. So leave me a message down below um, if it comes, if you come to like Saturday or Sunday and tell me if it's been a really amazing week for you because this card is promising that and I'd love to know from you. All right, sending you much love and many blessings. So for those of you who've chosen the second option here, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? And for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we have the card, the knight. And the caption reads, triumph over adversity. Now, the first two cards of this uh, reading has been really positive, And I feel like it might just be a week where things are working out really well for people. But for you, um, the it's as if you can fight through anything and, and be successful right now, which is more or less the meaning of the card, Triumph of Adversity. I feel like for you, if you are confronted with challenges this week, um, you might be able to work with it more easily than you would have. Now, as the week may begin, you might find yourself more uh, vulnerable or finding it a little bit difficult to actually work through that. But I think that as you go along, as you strengthen yourself, as the week continues, what you're going to find is that you're able to deal with challenges much more easily than you have been for a very long time. Now, the reason for that is because there's a newfound confidence that comes through in you. And I think that that is what's going to spur you on to also look at challenges that you may have had in the past that you've decided to store away and now you've decided to take them out again and work through them. There's a great deal of strength that surrounds this card and a feeling of being able to deal with matters with a, with a from a sense of joy, from a sense of um, happiness. It's almost like you do this happily, like you're cutting through these vines happily it brings you joy. It's like you, yeah, you're enjoying it. And I feel here that it's not much of an effort for you. It's not as murky or as uh, dirty or as difficult as as it might, as you may think it's going to be. It's going to be a lot easier to work through difficulties at this moment. I feel for some of you, this might be some kind of confirmation that it's going to be okay, that whatever you have been working on, if you've been struggling a bit, if you've been feeling a little bit stuck, if you've been having a slow start or finding it hard to make progress, that it's actually going to be okay. There is going to be triumph over adversity, even if it's not this week, even if it's in about two or three weeks from now, or, or two or three months from now, or even as late as next year, March or April. Um, I think that, yeah, that's definitely a challenge, channeled message, but I think for different people, it's going to mean different things. And so if you, whatever it is that you're busy with, whatever it is that you feel really weighed down by, where you feel like your energy is feeling a bit low as a result, I think that this is just a reminder that it's going to be okay, that you're going to triumph over adversity. And I would say that, year it's necessary to look at who your adversaries are or look at what is 
working against you in some kind of way and being able to analyze that and take time out to work with that. So if you're not actively fighting and and working through challenges this week, you might want to just take a pause and look at the situation from a different angle and a different perspective and see if you can seek some clarity or at least a little bit more information from that in order to be able to move ahead. I think it's necessary to keep a steel face, to keep a steel expression um, on you as you go ahead. It's almost like you need to keep your cards to yourself and not share what's what you're doing with too many people or with others around you. And I think it's important to take a moment to actually work through what your own emotions are before you can do that, before you are forced to do that or must do that. It's it's almost as if you need to step back or draw a bit in order to be able to be successful at this point. It's almost like you need to change up your routine, change up who you speak to on a regular basis, um, shift the energy a little bit in order to be able to move ahead. I feel also that if you have people around you here that might be a little bit jealous of you or might be a bit competitive with you, perhaps they wish you well and they want the best for you, but they're a little bit competitive with you, I think it's best not to reveal to them what your intentions are or how you plan to be able to overcome your challenges or how you plan to go ahead. I think it's best to keep those cards quite close to your chest at this moment. There's one more message in here and that's whatever direction that you decide to go on, it's going to mobilize for you. Okay, you just need to make the decision and things are going to start moving ahead. Okay, you don't need to wonder how you're going to get started or what you're going to do. Just think about where you want to go to ultimately and what you're going to do. And what's going to happen is it's going to mobilize for you. It's going to get started for you. It's it's almost like the horse in this picture here is it's a vehicle. It could be any vehicle. You drive it. You decide what its will is. And I think that... Um, that is what's going to happen. It's like it represents for me the universe in this card. And I think that as soon as you decide what it is, the direction in which you're going to ride this horse or this or go your way, what's going to happen is that things are going to work out so that it can support you. However, if you are feeling a little bit lethargic and you're not Um, sure of which direction you want to go into you're not sure if it's going to work you're not sure if you have the will to do it you're not sure if it's going to uh, work out in your favor then I think it's necessary for you to take a break and just relax for this moment because it's obvious that it's not the right time I think however that if you do feel aligned with the message that I'm giving uh, in this reading in terms of being able to slice through your problems, etc., then go ahead and show that off, you know, express that aspect of yourself. But if you are feeling like you'd rather retreat for a little bit, then take a moment to do that because this card also has a bit of that. It has retreating to gather your strength, to wait for the right moment before you um, attack or before you take action. So I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope that that has been a useful reading for you and I hope that you can use it as you go along and have a wonderful week ahead. All right, many blessings. So for those of you who've chosen the third option here, we're asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance? So for those of you who've chosen option three, we have the card, the chalice, and it says rejuvenation and fulfillment. So before I began the reading and I was shuffling these cards and preparing them for the reading, this card came up and I wondered if it would come up in the reading today. And so it's interesting that it popped out before I could choose the card for us. So the card here talks about rejuvenation and fulfillment. And I feel here that 
if there is something that you need to get off your chest or if there's something that you want to share with somebody but you don't feel like you can, I think it's necessary for you to express it in some way or the other, perhaps in poetry, in some form of narrative, um, whether it's theatre or film or writing even, it's necessary for you to be able to express who you are and what you are and how it is that you see the world. More than ever, at this moment, your voice is needed. I feel here that this card is also talking about being able to balance all aspects of your life. It's almost as if this card is saying to me, well, I'm this chalice is empty and you need to fill it. And how do you fill it? Well, you do a little bit of everything. You keep everything in balance. You do a little bit for you. You do a little bit for others. You do a little bit for your home. You do a little bit for your work. You do a bit for your hobbies. You do a bit for whatever self-development that you want to do. You do a bit for your children if you have them or your parents. You do a bit for everything and you hold it into a balance and there's this, almost this kind of a delicate balance that you need to hold in order to be ensured that your chalice will be filled and in order for you to understand what it feels like to drink from the nectar of bliss to drink from the nectar of fulfillment and satisfaction so it might be that this week you decide to go out more often instead of um, staying home and being workaholic or go going just to work and coming back. Perhaps this week you decide to work a little bit rather than playing video games <laughs> the whole time. And um, you decide to rather, you know, step away from that very interesting book and do something in terms of your work. Whatever it is, there seems to be some give and take it's almost like I when I look at this card I see the scales of justice I feel like balance is required balance and understanding what is it that your soul needs and being able to give your soul that and I feel like I'd like to say to you all pause this video at this moment and take a second to ask yourself what is it that you truly need right now what is it that you can do for yourself right now that would make you feel a hundred times better if only you made the time if only you gave yourself that opportunity what is it that you could do for yourself right now I feel like if you could get this delicate balance right and you can maintain that, that what's going to come out of this is going to be really beautiful. It's as if there's this elegant beauty that awaits you. And it's at the end of this line, it's at the end of this journey that you're on. And it's for you to embrace it, but you need to walk this tightrope, as it were, in order to be able to get to that point. And that tightrope is simply maintaining a balance between giving yourself what you need and giving the world or others what is outside of you what they need. I feel here there's also an element of feeling a little bit rough, a little bit um, like a, a rough diamond and needing to polish yourself before you could present yourself. There's this feeling of needing to be perfect or needing to be beautiful before you can present yourself or needing for your work to be beautiful before you can present yourself and I want to say that if you have that struggle if you are struggling with specifically that then the answer here is to give a little bit every day of yourself and so if you are thinking of setting up that Instagram account or you know joining social media in some way and and presenting yourself or marketing yourself you don't need to wait until you have the finished product to start that you can develop it already you can start already and develop that that client base already and you can move ahead like that it's almost as if they're saying well you don't need to start off when you're perfect and you've achieved everything that you've achieved because the way to get to that point is to go through all of this to go through the the trudge of the hardship the difficulty the beginning stages which may not always be as comfortable which may become a little bit awkward but it's fine to go through all of this and ultimately where you want to get to you are going to be able to get to 
but it's it requires a process to get to that point it's not like you know you think okay well i want to have this ferrari and i i'm gonna you know get this ferrari for myself and and then you you just think okay but i just don't have you know as much money to buy this ferrari right now but i really really want it and i i want it and i visualize it and i'm gonna get it well they're saying well (laughs) you know you're not gonna get it like that you're going what you need to do is just take a step back and slowly mold yourself into that person who drives that Ferrari. And along the way, you will become that person who attracts things to you that will allow you to have that Ferrari. Okay, just an example. Okay, don't hate on me because I've used that. (laughs) Um, So I think here that process is really important for you. That process of just, you know, refining yourself or... Um, molding yourself or sculpting yourself perhaps in order to to um, be the person that you need to be it's almost like you find yourself through others and therefore it's fine to go out and share yourself exactly as you are right now all right so I hope those words that I've spoken will be taken in the correct context in which it was meant to be delivered And I hope that you understand what I mean by that. And I I wish you a fabulous week. Okay. I hope, uh, I wish you all many, many blessings and all the good things to you all. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.